Hi everybody, Jason Gorbani here to train with you today on struts, specifically nitrogen filled gas struts that we're finding on vehicles today. Last month we did a piece on Blackboard for vehicle fires and we talked about fighting fire, keeping in mind about the struts. One thing I think we failed to amplify was where they are located, why you approach from where you approach and what can happen with these struts. Now these struts are filled with nitrogen. It's non-flammable, non-explosive, but it does react very violently to heat. Some have been known to go as little 350 degrees of heating, and the result of that explosion is unpredictable. We do know it will injure our guys, and it has in the past. We've seen explosion patterns of entire bumpers leaving the vehicle traveling 40 plus feet. We've seen the struts leave the gas-filled chamber as a projectile. So our approach, we showed you coming from the side. We don't want you coming from the front or the rear. I have struts in the bumpers. I have struts on the hood that I know of. I probably have struts in the rear bumper and the rear lid. Those are my no-go zones. I come from the side. So now keeping in mind incident stabilization, I can take my halogen with my ads. I can force a gap between the hood and the front panel of the fender. In that gap, I can flow water, remembering I'm gonna create steam. Steam is a great remover of heat a great tool to keep heat away from these struts. Force that gap, flow water until someone can get in there, or you know you've cooled enough and you're in a reasonably safe position to cut the hood, lift it, and go after that fire. Thanks for training with us. Don't just be safe, make it safe.